Hey, what is up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? And oh my goodness guys, do I have a review for you. Today I'm reviewing these studio headphones by the company Maono. And let me just set you guys down right here really quick. So guys, these are the Maono AUMH601s. And just really quick guys, before we continue, if you guys like this video or if this video helps you out, if you would not mind going down there and hitting that like button, that would help me out so much. And if you wanna see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell notifications button. Now let us continue. So these headphones go for $42.99. Let me go ahead and show you this right now. So this is the Amazon page right here. I'm gonna go ahead and have this link down in the description of this video in case you wanna check it out for yourself. But if you look over here, they go for $42.99 and come with free shipping. And there's the picture of them right there. So guys, from my understanding, these should be studio monitor headphones. At least I'm pretty sure that they're studio monitor headphones. It's a little unclear. I'm reading the Amazon page right here. And what it says is studio headphones, Mono AUMH601 over ear stereo monitor closed back headphones. So it does say stereo monitor, monitor closed back headphones. Um, and then it says with 50 millimeter drivers for music, DJ, podcast. Now, the, the thing is, is that they don't say anything about recording music. And they don't say the words studio and monitor right next to each other. And then I'm reading a little bit of the description and there is one part where it says exceptional clarity. Let me show you guys this. Right here it says exceptional clarity throughout an extended frequency range with deeper accurate bass response. The confusing part about that sentence is that it says with a deeper, accurate bass response. So that makes me wonder, is the sound going to be deeper than the original track? Or is it going to be accurate as in a direct representation of the track that you're listening to? And if you guys are wondering why I'm kind of making a big deal about this is because I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Beats by Dre like headphones and there there's a model of I, i've never owned beats by dre but there if i'm not mistaken there's a model called Beats studio like three or like whatever the number is and but they're actually not studio monitors but they do have the word studio in the name of the headphones this is an example right here if you go up here it says Beats Studio wireless noise canceling headphones. I've never personally owned Beats headphones, but everything that I read online says that they are not studio monitor headphones because they have a lot of colorization to make the sound more pleasing to the listener. When you have studio headphones, what you want is a flat and balanced frequency response. Regular headphones might boost the bass or they might boost the high frequencies to make it sound better to the listener, to make their headphones sound good. And there's nothing wrong with that at all for the average consumer, but if you are a music producer or if you're producing music and you're mixing a track, you want to have a direct representation of what the track sounds like. You don't want there to be any coloration. So I actually have a pair of studio headphones that I've been using for years that are kind of in the same ballpark price-wise as these Mono headphones right here, and they are the AKG K44s. If you look online, the price for these varies anywhere from between $42 all the way up to like $55. So I think they would be a pretty good pair of headphones to compare to these Mono ones. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into this. As usual, I will be doing a quick unboxing followed by a demonstration followed by a review. All right guys, so here's everything that came inside the box, the actual headphones themselves, and then the cable. I do think it's kind of cool that the cable is detachable from the actual headphones, and these quarter inch adapters are removable. So just from like touching these headphones guys, they feel pretty cool, they feel pretty good. Um, one thing that I kind of know I'm not really gonna like off the bat is this cable here. Um, I don't like how it's one of these like curly cables. I feel like it's pretty short. The box does say that it is a 5.9 foot cable, but I mean, it just looks really short. Like you would probably really have to like stretch it out and just look at this. So check out the cable on my AKG headphones. It's pretty long. And then check out the cable that came with these Mono headphones. That's it right there. It's pretty short in comparison. I feel like when recording music, you definitely want a much longer cable because this cable is going to be hanging up in the air. It's going to be a mess. 
I guess that's one plus about the cable being detachable. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and buy a longer cable for these headphones. Now I will say guys, um, when touching my AKG headphones and touching these Mono headphones, these Mono headphones definitely feel like more expensive headphones, like just by the way they feel and stuff. Like the cushioning is super soft. They feel pretty comfortable. The uh, AKG headphones are a little stiffer. One thing about the AKG headphones is that instead of having a, a way to adjust the size of the headphones to fit your head, it has this rubber kind of band thing where that kind of moves up and down. See what I mean? These ones, you adjust them by pulling out these sides. And one cool thing that I noticed about these headphones that I don't know if I've noticed on other headphones in the past is that when you pull these out, there's actual numbers here so that you know, okay, I'll set it to number four. Say if my head fit the number four setting, right? I could go to the other side and I could select number four there as well. So let's see, four. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and tell you how they feel. So let's just see. I don't know what size I am, let's see. They definitely feel very soft. They feel like they're completely covering my ears from the front to the back, top to the bottom. Now let's go ahead and listen to some music with them. So what I'm gonna test out next, guys, is noise leak from these headphones, and I'm gonna see if the microphone on my camera can pick up any of the music that I'm listening to on my headphones. Can you hear anything? Can you guys hear that? Now I'm gonna test the same thing, except with my AKGs. Can you guys hear anything? All right guys, so what I just did is I reviewed the footage that I just filmed on my computer, and I listened to it with these headphones, these Mono headphones, and I listened to which headphones gave the most sound leak. And I gotta say, the AKGs did leak quite a bit more sound than the uh, Monos. The Monos were not perfect, they did leak a little bit of sound, but I would say much less than the AKGs. Now check this out. All right guys, so check this out. I made kind of like a little pros and cons kind of list right here between the Mono headphones and the AKGs. The price of the Mono headphones are $42.99. The AKG headphones go for $49.99. As far as cable length goes, I gotta give it to the AKGs. They had a much better cable length. As far as the sound leak went, the Moono headphones definitely gave off less sound leak. And then as far as audio quality goes, you know, they were pretty... That's a tough question. But I do want to say that the Mono headphones did seem to sound a little bit bassier than the AKGs, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the Mono headphones were better. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in a question mark right there. As far as reliability goes, the AKGs are very reliable. And the Mono headphones, I'm not saying they're not reliable, we just don't know yet. The AKGs, I've had those for years, probably like eight or nine years. And they're pretty much just as good as when I bought them. They're like not really even worn at all. So guys, looking at my little pros and cons sheet right here, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the two headphones. Which ones would you go with? Personally, a big deciding factor for me would be the length of the cable. Even if you don't want a very long cable, in my opinion, it's better to have a cable that's too long than a cable that's too short. However, the sound leak issue with the AKG headphones is something that I have had problems with in the past. And as for the audio quality, I think that both headphones sounded good, but it's really hard for me to tell which headphones are giving the most honest representation of the music that I'm listening to. At least for me, when it comes to mixing music, I always have a hard time with the bass. Whenever I'm mixing a song on either my studio monitors here or headphones, I go ahead, listen to it in my car, and the bass is way too loud, and I always have to take it down. I think it's always a good idea to test your mixes on different speakers, different monitors, different headphones, to get a general idea of how your mix sounds. Another thing that I should have included in my pros and cons list is the comfortableness of the headphones. In my opinion, the Mono headphones are definitely more comfortable. They are way softer. I feel like I get to have them on my ears for much longer. The AKG headphones are kind of stiff, to be honest, but they're not bad. So let's go ahead and give them that little check mark. 
So anyways guys, based on this video, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments below, do you think the Moono headphones are better or do you think the AKGs are better? I will have the links for both of these headphones down in the description of this video in case you wanna check either of them out. And once again guys, if you guys like this video or if this video helped you out at all, if you wouldn't mind going down there and giving this video a like, that would help me out tremendously. And if you wanna see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.